Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting question from Radical Maths. Here we have to evaluate the expression n minus 1 over m, where m and n are real numbers. And given equation is m over square root n plus 1 whole cube equal to 1 to 5 over 3 times square root 21 plus 8. So let's get started by considering this bracket only equal to x. So I will be writing x cube equal to 125 divided by 3 times square root 21 plus 8. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I will multiply here with 3 square root 21 minus 8. So I need to multiply in the numerator also. Now denominator is a plus b times a minus b written. So I can use a square minus b square formula. So numerator will be 1 to 5 times 3 square root 21 minus 8. And denominator will be 3 square root 21 whole square minus 8 square. Now I will be writing 1 to 5 times 3 square root 21 minus 8 in the numerator. And denominator will be 3 square is 9, root 21 square is 21. 9 times 21, 189 minus 64. So this value will be equal to 1 to 5 in bracket 3 root 21 minus 8 over 1 to 5. Now we can cancel these two. So x cube finally 3 root 21 minus 8. Now one conclusion 3 root 21 is greater than 8 then x cube is greater than 0. So x must be positive. Let me write here x cube equal to 3 square root 21 minus 8. x cube is positive, so x would be positive. Now I will consider y cube also, which will be equal to 3 square root 21 plus 8. Let's subtract second equation from first one. So I will be writing x cube minus y cube. This will be equal to negative 16, I will call this as equation 1. Now I will multiply these two. So x cube times y cube which will be equal to xy whole cube. And I will write 3 square root 21 minus 8 times 3 square root 21 plus 8. Now a plus b, a minus b. We can write 3 square root 21 whole square minus 8 whole square. So this is 189 minus 64, 125, which is equal to 5 cube. So left hand side it is xy whole cube, right hand side 5 cube. So xy will be equal to 5. And this equation it is second one. Let us solve both the equations. x cube minus y cube equal to negative 16 with xy equal to 5. Let us write a cube minus b cube formula. So a minus b in other bracket a square plus b square plus ab equal to negative 16. Now I can write x minus y. In second bracket I can write x minus y whole square. Now minus 2xy. So I have to consider here 3xy overall equal to negative 16. Now xy is 5. So here I can write 15. So x minus y times x minus y whole square plus 15 
as this value is 3 times 5 and RHS will be negative 16. Now let's consider x minus y equal to a. So I can write our equation a times a square plus 15 equal to negative 16 or a cube plus 15a plus 16 equal to 0. Now this is one cubic equation. I will solve using factorization method. a cube plus 15a plus 16 equal to 0. I will split 16 as 1 plus 15. So 1 here and 15 I will write here. Now it is a cube plus b cube. So I will be writing a plus 1 in other bracket a square minus a plus 1. And from last two terms 15 is common. So a plus 1 we will get again. Now a plus 1 is overall common. I will write a square minus a plus 1 plus 15. So finally it is equal to a plus 1 times a square minus a plus 16 equal to 0. Conclusion from here is either a plus 1 equal to 0. So a will be equal to negative 1. And if a square minus a plus 16 will be equal to 0, then we will find out discriminant only. b square minus 4ac. So minus 1 is square minus 4 times 1 times 16. So it will be equal to 1 minus 64, which is negative. So it will generate complex solutions. So we can reject. So a equal to negative 1 will be accepted and a was our substitution x minus y which will be equal to negative 1 and x y equal to 5. Now I will write from here y value. y will be equal to 5 over x. Let's apply in this equation. So I can write x minus 5 over x equal to negative 1 or x square plus x minus 5 equal to 0. Now this is one quadratic equation. I will use quadratic formula for x positive only. So let us apply x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square is 1 square 1 minus 4ac. So plus 20 I will write divided by 2a. So 2. So from here minus 1 plus minus square root 21 over 2. So conclusion from here root 21 minus 1 over 2 root 21 with negative sign and minus 1 over 2. So you can see this is positive but this is negative. So we will reject this one. So accepted x value will be x equal to square root 21 minus 1 over 2. Now we have to find out n minus m over x and this was our x. So let us equate. So I will be writing x equal to root 21 minus 1 over 2 equal to this value m over square root n plus 1. Now I will rationalize. So I will write square root 21 minus 1 times square root 21 plus 1 denominator square root 21 plus 1 and 2 is there. Now you can see a plus b and a minus b. So I can write this will be equal to square root 21 whole square minus 1 square over 2 times square root 21 plus 1. 
now i will be writing 21 minus 1 over 2 times square root 21 plus 1 so this is ultimately 20 over 2 times square root 21 plus 1 now we can cancel this will be 10 so i can write x equal to m over square root n plus 1 equal to 10 over square root 21 plus 1. Now simply by comparing both sides, we can conclude m will be equal to 10 and n will be equal to 21. So m equal to 10, n equal to 21. Now we have to evaluate this expression. So the value of n minus 1 over m will be 21 minus 1 over 10 equal to 20 over 10. So our final answer becomes 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.